Hello again, this is Robert Shine, Managing Director and Partner of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Today is October 20th, 2020. Uh, it's a Tuesday and markets are moving actually positively today. Let's talk about why they are, what markets are paying attention to. So thanks for watching. Our first topic of the day, high frequency data. Now, if you followed us ever since we started our daily updates back in March, again, I wanted to go directly to you, uh, the investor, simply because a lot of news wasn't getting reported. There's a lot of doomsday headlines out there. We continue to see that in the daily news cycle. They have specific agendas. Well, what we care about here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management, uh, as we navigate our clients' portfolio, is that real, true, transparent, uh, stuff that actually matters that markets are paying attention to. It matters to our clients, it matters to you, it matters to us here. So that's why I report on a daily basis. So one of the key things that I clued in on early on, based upon our empirical evidence and our research that we've reported on, is high frequency data. So on a daily basis, I would be reporting to our audience here on YouTube and our clients very specifically, what matters to the markets, right? It's economic activity, and that's what the high frequency data is. You know, your cell phone tracks everything you do in every location you go. And what we got is when the, the, the early on, when we had the pandemic, we had around the world, we had that cell phone data of when everyone shut down and stopped and sheltered in place. Well, then everyone started moving again. And another data point we got to see, and that was actually reported this week, is we just had uh, TSA reported over 1 million, more than a million reported at the TSA checkpoints over this last couple of days over the weekend. And that's the highest number since back in March, the very beginning, I think it was mid-March, is very specifically is where we actually matched that again. Now it's a long way to go from where we need, especially the airlines. The airlines need the assistance. Markets are up again on the talk that Congress could get together today and make a deal. Again, we have probably less than, I don't know, 10 hours remaining based upon that deal or no deal, but don't hold your breath. We'll see how this plays out between Congress, White House, and Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary. That being said, markets are actually encouraged that even though we're seeing rolling waves around the world, people are still living with the virus and economic activity is still out there. I know specifically here in Palm Desert, California, it was jamming this last weekend. The malls were busy, Every, the, everybody's out and about. So yes, we're gonna report more cases. We're gonna see that. But markets wanna pay attention to hospitalizations going forward, not cases. Again, and those people that are getting better with all of the therapeutics that we're seeing, all the treatments that we're seeing. You know, early on they thought, and the medical community will say, if you're put on a ventilator even before coronavirus, it's a death sentence, it's not a good thing. Now they don't need the ventilators because that's not the proper standard of care going forward because that's a sort of a jump to conclusion. So the medical community is catching up to us living with the virus. So we're seeing people travel, high frequency data that's coming through here, economic activity, stimulus that's gonna be added. Again, we're gonna continue to monitor this as this could happen and it's evolving as the virus is evolving. But economically speaking, the market's anticipating not a shutdown again here in the United States going forward, at least in the short term. And that's a good thing. So that's what we're paying attention to. Our next topic, social bonds. It's a new experiment offered by the European Union. In fact, they were going to market with 10 billion offering in terms of euros. It was oversubscribed by tenfold. Uh, in fact, they are looking to probably 118 billion to provide these AAA bonds backed by the Euro European Euro Union of social responsibility for job support and a few others. It's AAA credit. So what does this mean? Ultimately, this is a big movement that one, markets are back in terms of fixed income. There's 10-year treasury debt that's out there uh, or even sovereign debt that's being tenfold oversubscribed. So that means liquidity is there and it's a AAA piece of paper. So the demand is there. And we're gonna see more of this because ultimately these bonds are brand new to the market. The ultimate end uses for job support or social sustainable uh, efforts out there. It's really an unknown actually as to what these bonds were gonna be out there for. And it was oversubscribed by 10 times. This is gonna be a movement going forward that's gonna change history, especially here in the United States. You're gonna see more social programs go to the marketplace because credit markets 
are so incredibly strong and rates are so incredibly low. But the sign of liquidity globally and the demand on a tenfold basis and for the social responsibility element to this fixed income product that's new to the market, uh, this is incredible. Markets are paying attention to this because this actually will set up for potential new debt that we need public to private going forward where the, the government will issue these bonds but private institutions will pick them up. And when you say who's going to actually buy them, well we're seeing this over in Europe so this will take some time but the financial institutions and markets are taking notice and paying attention. And our final topic is uh, you know, beginning of the fourth quarter, that just means it's tax loss selling time. Again, October is extremely volatile uh, and November sort of will shake out that way too because there's uncertainty post-election. We're almost assured of that. That being said, we here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management, what we do for our clients is, you know, we're, we're, we're doing really well for our clients this year. It's a great year from a portfolio management standpoint. So clients are happy from that perspective, but we also go in and do tax loss harvesting, which means we offset internal losses with potential gains to essentially make certain that our clients get to keep what they're making. So we do that here as a service here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Again, if you have portfolios outside of us, uh, please let us know what your capital gain exposure is. And if you don't know, just give us a call. We're happy to help you walk you through that. Therefore, we can make certain that you're keeping what you're making and saving most of all. So thanks for watching and take care. Have a great day.